See all that green behind Andrew there? That's not good for us today or tomorrow, Andrew. I mean, look, it's <laughs> rain, it's dreary, but like you said, this will be good March Madness watching weather, right? Yeah, so, so it works out. And the yeah, lawns, really you know, we need rain. We do. Jim's always the thinking garden, about I'm the garden. I'm thinking of the yard, and I have to start planting soon. Well, not only that, but the fire danger. It alleviates yes, that because we had that the last couple of days, too. So that's good news. You know, overall, this is not bad. We'll change our attitude about this. By noon, we're going to be looking at rain uh, mainly from Philadelphia on south. This includes the Jersey Shore, Delaware. Now, if you're in Allentown, really anywhere north of 78, it's going to be mainly a dry day. Damp, but we're not going to be looking at the rain coming down. By 5 o'clock, even across Philly and the southern shore, we're going to be looking at mainly just a couple of scattered showers. This is a break because once we get into Saturday, the warm front lifts. This is the second piece of our system that's going to bring us showers and even a couple of rounds of thunderstorms. Once we get through Saturday afternoon, though, we're done and we clear things out, brighten things up by Sunday. It's breezy. But Sunday is mostly sunny. Here is your seven day forecast. See, it's not all bad. 55 on Saturday, rain and fog. By the way, the fog will be a little thick late tonight and early Saturday. So if you're out early in the day for the first part of the weekend, budget extra time because visibilities could be reduced down to zero tomorrow morning. Sunday, 62, breezy, sunny, beautiful. That's my pick of the week. Monday, not bad, 58. And then some more unsettled weather next week, especially Tuesday. A couple of showers with temperatures averaging where they should be this time of year in the mid to upper 50s.